Hi, Bagaholics! Today we have a very exciting episode. I will be comparing two bags. One of them is a real Louis Vuitton bag, while another one is a cheap knockoff. Let's take a look which one is a real Louis Vuitton and which one is a fake one. I will show you some basic authentication methods while comparing these two bags. Uh, there are some things that are obvious to the trained eye, but uh, to an untrained eye, it may be very, very hard to identify a fake bag. First of all, the overall shape and the looks of the bag. It's very hard to tell something by looking at this style of the bag. Because, you know, they look pretty similar, you know? The, the color of the leather, the handles, just looks nice, looks good. Same size, same colors, same handles length. So let's take a deeper look and uh, examine the details. First of all, we'll examine the hardware of these bags. So it's quite similar, uh, well, it's metallic and, uh, well, the, the overall feeling from this metallic parts is almost the same, except for the Louis Vuitton stamp that is on the side of this metallic part. Um, it says Louis Vuitton and unless you know the Louis Vuitton font, the right Louis Vuitton font and this style of the bag, which actually doesn't have this uh, stamp on the metallic part, you don't know whether it's real or not. So the hardware looks quite similar, but on this bag we have the Louis Vuitton stamp on the hardware details here on the side and uh, we don't know if it's real or fake yet because we don't know if that's supposed to be here or uh, you know maybe this hardware part shouldn't have any stamps like on this bag we don't know it yet um, and uh, well to me it looks pretty nice so it's not sloppy, not a, you know, of a very low quality. The, the hardware is of, of a good quality here, so of good quality here. So we can't really tell anything only based on hardware on these bags. Let's take a look at the handles. You can see that uh, one has a little more patina, but uh, this bag is actually more used, so it's, it's supposed to be like this anyway. And, uh, well, we see that the, the color is quite similar um, and, uh, but, you know, the filling from these handles is a little different, but uh, it's a different topic. So, actually, the handles look pretty close to each other. We see a little bit of difference here, but uh, it's not too much. Okay, so we examined the overall looks of the bag and, uh, Obviously, we can't really say which one is fake and which one is real. If you have a trained eye, you have a guess, but uh, let's check your guess, right? Let's take a deeper look and uh, just look at the heat stamp of the bag. That's one heat stamp from a bag that's a little more used. And uh, as you can see, it looks really nice. All the letters are nice and uh, it looks good. And a heat stamp from another bag. Whoops. And we see the difference here, right? So the letters are not that nice. Um, they're quite untypical for Louis Vuitton font, if you know what I'm talking about. But even if you don't know anything, really, you can really see like which of the two heat stamps is more, uh, is nicer and uh, a little more in line with the Louis Vuitton fonts, um, with the Louis Vuitton brand and which one has higher quality, right? So if we compare these two bags, 
This one wins even if you don't know anything. Now let's dig a little deeper and actually you may have heard that all little Louis Vuitton bags have their date code. And uh, these two bags are not an exclusion, they both have a date code. By the way, there is a myth that says that only authentic Louis Vuitton bags have their date codes. Well, it's actually not true, because all the fakes, especially the good ones, that's the one that we have right here is not a really good one, but still, even this fake has a date code. So let's examine the date code and see what's the difference with the um, in comparison with a real Louis Vuitton bag. So here is the date code and it looks like this and it says SF1688. And uh, again, we assume that you don't know anything, but if you really know how to read Louis Vuitton date codes, you know that 68, the second and the uh, last um, number from the date code, they mean the uh, year when the bag was released and it's 68? 68 of what? Um, Louis Vuitton bags did not have a date code in the 1968 and the uh, 2068, uh, I guess it's a little bit fo too far from us. So it's supposed to be strange. And uh, let's take a look at the Louis Vuitton bag. And here you can barely see the date code. It's, it's actually stamped onto the inner lining. And well, you can see a little bit that it's FL4052. Yeah, probably 52 or 58. Yeah, it's 5'8", or 5'9", or but anyway. Anyway, that's a legal date code, and though you can barely see it, um, you can understand that uh, it's quite legal, and uh, that's Louis Vuitton font, that genuine Louis Vuitton font, and it's really um, a, a good and real Louis Vuitton bag. If you wonder how do I have a fake in my collection, that's my first Louis Vuitton bag. I bought it at 25, I didn't know it was fake, and uh, um, I kept it just to remind myself that uh, that were the money I lost, but uh, I will find a way to regain them, and I will find a way to not make it that bitter because at that time it was bitter it was a nightmare for me and a really big amount of money i didn't have a lot of money at that time and um, well it was just very very sad and bitter and i wanted to quit luxury bags i i said that was that was my only one mistake and i will never repeat it anymore well I, I did that a couple of times then, but uh, that doesn't matter in this video and in this story. I just wanted to let you know that if you are watching this video and you have purchased a fake somewhere or you suspect that the bag that you have in your collection may be your only one and first Louis Vuitton bag that you bought pre-loved is a fake, you can learn how to authenticate. You can learn how to determine whether the bag is real or not. You can either contact a professional, and we do expert authentication of Louis Vuitton, or you can take the course that we have and ensure that you will never make the same mistake again, and you will, maybe you will never make the mistake I did. That's an amazing thing about the course. It allows you to save a lot of money if, and if you buy a lot of pre-loved bags that's something that you should take because it's an investment all right guys i hope it was useful and if you liked the video if there was something that was useful for you just click like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell not to miss the next episodes thank you for watching bye bye